concept that I've been thinking about a lot lately is yeah. chasing butterflies and building gardens. Uh -huh. So I was with a friend the other day and it was a beautiful day. I said, let's try to catch some butterflies today. And we were walking down the street and we saw a few butterflies, but there was no chance that we could ever catch them. So then I said, why don't we build this beautiful garden? And the concept of building a garden to attract the butterflies as opposed to chasing the butterflies That's is something that I've thought about a lot at. lately is I'm not a mm. thirsty, desperate person. I believe in building yourself and everything will come once you attract yes. the right energy and the right Love audience it. for the band that yeah. you built, which is yourself. Welcome to Super Entrepreneurs Podcast. I'm your host, Shahid Durrani. Today we have with us David Drebin. David is an internationally renowned and New York City-based photographer and multidisciplinary artist, working in various art forms, producing limited edition works, including photographs, light boxes, neon light installation, sculptures, and etchings on glass. Welcome to our show, David. Thank you. I hope you can't hear the music that's playing in the background. You can't hear the music at all, can you? Yeah, very slight. It's okay, actually okay. a nice ambiance that yeah, you yeah, created. Yeah, very tranquilo music that I use every yeah. day to transform myself. Let's talk about that a little bit. What do you mean transform yourself? I feel like when we wake up in the morning, we're extremely raw, and then we have to get into that zone where we're, where we're ready for the day. And I use music yeah. to complement my thoughts so I can yeah. interact with different energy all day long around the world. So I use music to go. get me into that zone. Very mellow music, ambient yeah. dreamscapes and musical therapy. So it's very dreamy. That's how you can create the creative work that you create. Actually, when I make work, I actually don't really use music. It's when I'm dealing with energy and people and my manufacturers uh -huh. and my distributors around the world. That's when I need yeah. to have this kind of mellow music. But when I'm actually creating yeah. the art forms themselves, I actually like to make the work in silence. Yes. Albert Einstein used to say that all the information that I'm receiving, it's not through my thinking is through my quietness, the stillness. Definitely. Yeah. What do you do exactly to calm yourself to become in that creative state? A lot of breathing exercises too. I get myself, Good. I feel like I'm a boxer walking yeah. down the, out of the tunnel, into the ring, climbing to the ring, and then I go to work. Uh -huh. So I have a whole routine to get me into that mood so I can deal yeah. with interacting with people because interacting with people yeah. is a real skill. And it's probably the yes. greatest skill that you can learn is communication and understanding mm. other people. A yeah. lot of people don't think that way. They think it's about other people no. understanding them. Yes. But for me, it's all about understanding other people. So I have to get into that zone where I'm in a compassionate state of mind where I'm in interacting with other people thinking, what can mm. I do for you today? What, what can I do for you? Yeah. But when we wake up in the morning, we think, what can they do for me? But you have to transform yeah. that into what can I do for you? Yeah. Yeah. And we're basically in a way very careful about what others think about us and what others can do for us, right? It's always out there. But when we start becoming more self-aware and we start looking in the mirror more and seeing what we can do for the world or people, it changes a lot. Your relationships change a lot. You, you want to know what I think about you in the three minutes that we've been yeah. interacting? Do you want me to tell you what I think yeah. about you? Sure, I would love you're, to. You're, yes. you're, I've got psychic qualities too, and I use yeah. that to my advantage when it, they come to me. Awesome. But you're a very calming person. You're very calm. Thank you. And I think that you're very compassionate and you're really interested in other people. And that's what makes you special. 
is your calmness Thank and you. your interest in others. Am yeah. I right? Am I somewhat right? Yeah, you're dead on because I was never like this before, to be honest. It wasn't, there was nothing calm about me, actually. It was just a ticking time bomb. I went through a transformation, a mindset transformation to get to this level. It took some years and a lot of work and consistent work on a daily basis. And that's what I fell in love with. Now I help others do the same, but that's just my passion now because I feel calmness creates, like my mentor used to say, and the calmness actually allows you to do so much more. You would think calmness will slow you down, but it's actually the opposite. I agree. Yeah. So with your capabilities, your skills produce these limited edition work across the world. How has the entrepreneurship mindset, like how did that influence the ability to navigate and succeed in this artistic landscape? I always believed that I had something that I could offer the world that the world wanted to see specific types of people wanted to acquire and visualize the kind of work that I make on their walls all over their, all over the world. I never really had a business plan, but I knew I had a purpose mm -hmm. and through my purpose, mm. my business developed, but I didn't start this with a business plan. I started with first you find the purpose. First you figure out why which is mm. something you have to really dig deep to figure out what your why is. And then once you are 100% mm. sure of what your why is, then over time you figure out your how. For me, it's always mm -hmm. been why, then how. And when I look at other people, I think, what is your why? And then what is your how? Yeah. Why are you doing what you're doing? And how are you going to do yeah. what you're doing? I was chatting with another guest of mine yesterday, and we were having a similar conversation about people that actually create success or get better results are the ones that have actually found that purpose. What's that why, that big, beautiful why? And it, be it became part of them, like it's part of their DNA now. And the way that type of person operates, even the how becomes so much easier and more available to the individual. So I absolutely agree. Yeah, I feel very lucky that I found my why at somewhat of an early yeah. age. And then I've been working on my how for many years. So when I think patience is a big part of it, and I think young people today, they want to they want to get rich fast and they don't have the patience to persevere yeah. or over a sustained period of time. And things take time. Things take time. Things take time, yeah. And that's where that calmness and patience comes into the picture, just having that faith. And how was your faith throughout your career? Like when you first started doing this, if you don't mind sharing that specific story as well, how all this transpired, what was that, what was that transformation in your life that got you there? First of all, you know what faith stands for? Finally, allowing it to happen. That's what faith is. Oh. Finally allowing no, it to happen. I didn't know that. So yeah. it's like impossible means I'm possible, not to be cliche. Yeah. So mm. for me, I always had a vision and my biggest battle was to convince others to see the vision that I always had for myself and for them yeah. and for us. Mm. So I'm always thinking about how can we do great things together? Not how can mm. I do great things? Yes, I love that. Actually, that's how I operate this show with my guests and the audience. I call it hashtag let's grow together. And that's actually been the reason why we're seeing the growth is because of that. We just bring everyone together. We do everything, that exposure, that growth, we do it together. There's no competition or anything. Yes, I know. I do a lot of podcasts and people ask me, how did you get started and what's the process been like for you and how much adversity mm. have you experienced? But we all go through the same thing. Mm. I get the same questions so often, but mm. it all comes down to why and how and time 
and finding the right people and seizing the opportunities in front of you and knowing what the good ones are and having the foresight to understand what the bad ones are, learning from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Friends can become strangers. Strangers can become friends. Yeah. And just embracing everything. The wins, yes. the losses, the whole, it's just yeah. the life experience is a combination of winning and losing and gladness and sadness and gladness. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. The good and bad law of polarity in our dimension is basically that, right? There's good and bad in everything. Like, how do you see the world and how do you see your life and how do you see your day to day and every moment that you're awake? How do you see things? How do you interact with people? It makes a huge difference. Do you like talking to me so far or what? Oh man, it's been great. You got a, you. an amazing view. You're very easy to speak to. I could see that building relationships is second nature to you. These are my feelings, my vibrational pickups that I'm getting is that you're very strict about keeping your word and you really want to connect with people's heart. I don't know if I'll I'm right or wrong, thinking, but those also, are things. Yeah. I'm very loyal when it comes to business, extremely loyal. Mm. I expect other mm -hmm. people to not be loyal to me. So it's just a matter of mm. time before that expectation can either happen or which won't surprise me, or they become loyal and show me they're loyal, which is a beautiful surprise. So when people are mm -hmm. as loyal to me as I am to them, when it comes to business, it's a beautiful surprise. But when they mm -hmm. betray me, I don't want to get that disappointed because that's what I expect in the very beginning. Yes. So it's okay. So it doesn't affect you emotionally, right? It well, keeps not, this, not now. It, did, it, it took yeah. me two decades to it come up be. with this concept. So oh, this awesome. You, you worked on yeah. yourself too. Yeah. yeah. Decades of disappointment turning into <laughs> min minimizing expectations of other people yeah. so low that yes. if they actually come through and they're loyal, what a beautiful surprise. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's so true. Through my process of evolution in my mind, I realized that being comfortable with what is and not getting connected to everything that happens in our life, just appreciating it and not trying to make something change, change the uncontrollable or put energy there. That's the biggest lesson I learned. And that's what you're actually referring to as well. You just don't get attached. Don't expect. Just be okay. Yes. Just be okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Man. So you gain international recognition, right? Some insights you can share on strategies or approaches that you have used to market yourself and your work on a global scale. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to quickly interrupt today's episode to announce something really exciting. I'm doing a five-day live launch, July 3rd to July 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's called DIY, Do It Yourself, Studio Grade Podcast and TV, under $100 using AI. I'm blown away at what is happening in my world, and I wanted to share it with you all. <clears throat> if you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, I'm going to share everything in this event. You're going to absolutely love it. And I would love for you to be there. Register via the link in the show notes. And then join the private Facebook group called Mindset for Business Success. Thank you so much, everyone. And back to today's episode. Bye. What's interesting is before our call, I was reading some of my diary entries from 25 years ago about mm -hmm. the struggle. And hopefully one day I will look back and those years of struggle would strike me as the most beautiful. Literally, I was looking at my diary entries over here. I'll show you. Hold on a second. I have these pages, pages and pages oh, of, of diary entries from the late 90s about how my future self 
would thank me for writing awesome. how I felt in that moment. And everything that I imagined back then actually came true for me, but not how I expected. Amazing. Because if you want to make yeah. God laugh, tell yeah. him your plans. And it happened for me, but not how I expected it, but way better than I ever could have imagined because I was always on that path to create yeah. and distribute. First, you have to build the band, build yourself, and then you got to build the audience for the band that you built. And that's always been my thinking. So you were basically living from the end. You were already feeling who that person is at that moment. Yes. And I was reverse so engineering that, my future. Yeah, this is very interesting because this is exactly how we help people. And this is the exact concept is that you remove all that forcefulness, all that having to get, you actually like the magnet, the negative to negative, it pulls away from each other. You have that effect on your results. So when you believe that you already have it, they call it act as if or feel as if within that you already have it, you're operating at a higher frequency, higher vibrational frequency. You're basically inviting everything that you want without having that stress or pressure that you're putting out there, right? That, oh, I got to get this. I got to make it happen. You're already there. And then you see things the, fall into place. The concept that I've been thinking about a lot lately is yeah. chasing butterflies and building gardens. Uh -huh. So I was with a friend the other day and I, it was a beautiful day. I said, let's try, to, let's try to catch some butterflies today. And we were walking down the street and we saw a few butterflies, but there was no chance that we could ever catch them. So then I said, why don't we build this beautiful garden? And the concept of building a garden to attract the butterflies as opposed to chasing the butterflies that's it's something that I've thought about a lot it. lately is I'm not a mm. thirsty, desperate person. I believe in building yourself and everything will come once you attract yes. the right energy and the right Love audience it. for the band that yeah. you built, which is yourself. Yeah. Everything is energy, my man. And once you tune into that level of energy, you start attracting it. And that's amazing. My real dream so is actually public speaking not making art forms. Oh. I love making photographs and diamond dust prints and neon and sculptures and lenticulars. But my real yeah. passion is to do public speaking. And I would do public speaking Whoa. for free with no notes. I don't need any notes. I would just get up on a stage, feel the audience. And the reason why I want to do that is because that's my biggest fear. What's my biggest fear? Public speaking. And so many people are scared of public speaking. And I love it. Yeah. I love being scared. Yeah. And my opening line would be, wow, yeah. I'm so scared right now to be on stage. Yeah. And that's when you have the audience in your hand, when you show vulnerability. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. So are you taking actual action, like steps to go that route? What's interesting is I've done a lot of public speaking, but I never thought about tape recording myself. It just never crossed my mind. So now I've been talking to different agencies and they're saying to me, do you have any videos of you public speaking? And my yeah. response is, I've never actually done any, but I'm about to, I'm about to go on a book tour and I'm going to set up video and have my, myself record it. All it takes is 10 minutes because I just, when you just know that you're good at it, because it's all yeah. about being vulnerable. Just have it I, in I your already heart. know exact, I just know, I know I, it's, it would be so easy for me, especially if I had a tough crowd. I love a tough crowd. Haters, no problem. I yeah. could speak to thousands of haters. Me, against thousands of haters as long as they stayed in the room i would love that i love that that comes from that calmness that you have as well right is that when you don't fear and you're comfortable with being uncomfortable that comes from calmness comfortably uncomfortable my man comfortably yeah, uncomfortable yeah. you collaborated with the prestigious galleries like contessa gallery right i believe and how do you approach building those relationships with the stakeholders in that world of art and then creating those partnerships? It comes down to first creating the band and then Back to asking that. the universe yeah. to finding the audience for the band. And galleries to me awesome. are the bridge between me, the band, and the audience. 
because I don't sell my work directly. I'm in the yeah. third party validation business. So I had to find people mm. who would be in the third party validation business to be the bridge between me and my art collectors, my audience all over the world. David, can you share with us what you feel your innermost superpower is that got you to this point in your life? That is a great question. Thank you. And I only have a one word answer and that's Elise. Love it. Oh man, I can relate so much to you. That is such a powerful inner superpower, belief. That's awesome. And some people have it naturally, unconscious competence. Some people have to work on it, but that is that force that makes things happen is that belief. That's incredible. So you believe you're going to be a top public speaker then? No, I don't think about the result of me being a top public speaker. I think about mm -hmm. the process of being able to seize any opportunity to share my thoughts and beliefs with either one person or one million people. I don't think about the result mm. and where I'm supposed to be. I think about where I am and what I would like to do to affect other people and make a dent in the world. That's great. That's great, David. I'll tell you, man, I could talk to you for forever about this stuff because it's hitting close to home here. I appreciate your time. We keep them at 20 minutes, just the way audience likes it. They like to see and hear from people around that time frame. Is there anything else you would like to share as final notes coming on our show with our audience? I just hope that if there's at least one person who may be listening or watching, who occasionally may lack belief in themselves, that hearing you and I converse, it gives them hope to chase their dreams and believe in themselves. We appreciate you very much. Definitely keep in touch and thank you for your time today. Thank you. Audience, once again, thank you so much for joining us for another episode. You heard David here today. Take a look at his information in the show notes, his website, his work. You can actually Google him and you'll see all the fantastic work that he created. I believe one of my favorites is the balloons in New York City. It with this view just, right here, it, with this view it, right here, with that view right there. That was my favorite that I saw. So definitely you can browse his tons and tons of content online that David worked on that created some neon signs as well. Definitely check out his work, get in touch with him. If you're looking for a public speaker, you can see you want to bring David on board to see how he can add value to your audience. Appreciate you guys and especially helping us grow and for everything else that you do. Thank you. And David, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.